look at the next one. Um, so this one is identifying isolated sevens. Let's take a look at the first example. So here you're given the chord and you're asked to label it with a numeral. Um, and the correct inversion, don't forget that. So here's the process for it. You're given a triad. Let's look at this one together. Um, the first thing you can do is write the inversion before you do any more analysis. We're looking for uh, the second, right here, this major second. So if the second is on top, um, it is in 6-5, first inversion. If it's in the middle, like in this example, this would be a 4-3, so I'll write that in, 4-3. Um, this one is also in the middle, so this is a 4-3. If the second is on the bottom, it's going to be a 4-2. So I've actually done my inversions now before I've even looked to see what notes I'm dealing with. Um, so that's really quick and easy. Now, the root for this chord, if you can find that seventh, the root is going to be the top note of the second. So the root for this chord, I can see, is going to be um, a C, uh, yeah, just a C. So I'm going to write C above this as my root, okay? I could do the same thing over here. Um, there's my second, here's my top note. I know my root is going to be G sharp. Um, here's my second, I know this is my root, it's going to be D, okay? After that, we have to determine what the quality of the triad is. Um, if it's confusing for you to look at it in an inversion to figure it out, then just write it off to the side so that it's stacked um, in root position, okay? So all I did here was I moved this B flat up to the top. Remember, this is an E-flat here. I'm going to bring that over, okay? Now I need to look at the quality of my triad. I can see that this is minor, C, E-flat, G. So this would be a C minor. And then I need to look at the quality of my seventh. Um, so I have C and B-flat. That's a minor seventh, okay? And then down here, um, so now I have all the information I need, so I'm just going to put it in Roman numeral form now. Um, the uh, C in the key of B flat is the second scale degree. So I'm going to write a little two so that it matches my minor quality. And then the inversion is already taken care of. Um, we already wrote that in. I'm going to do the same thing over here with these ones. Um, so G sharp B, let's go ahead and write this off to the side again so we can see it. It's a little bit easier to see that way. So G sharp, B, D, and then I have an F sharp here. Okay, The quality of this triad, G sharp, B, D, that's diminished. So um, I'm going to add this little sign here. And then I need to look at my seventh. So G sharp to F sharp, if I looked at the inversion of that, uh, I would have F sharp to G sharp, which is a major second. So this is going to be a minor seventh. Um, which means that this is a half diminished seventh, okay? So now down here, I'm in the key of A major. G sharp is my seventh scale degree, so I'm going to write seven, and then half diminished. Four, three tells me what inversion it's in, so I'm done with this one. Let's do this one too. So D, F sharp, A, and then C up here, put it in root position. I can see this is major. I don't have to do anything special with my chord symbol. Um, D to C uh, is a minor seventh, so I'm gonna put a seven. In G minor, D is scale degree five. So I'm gonna write a capital five to show that it's major. And then four, three takes care of my inversion. So, um, so that is a really uh, quick process, and the, the more you do it, the easier it will get. Um, now notice, this exercise did not ask us to write the lead sheet symbols, but as you're working through them, if you find them helpful, um, I, I always do. I write the lead sheet symbol above the chord that I'm working on, because then it's easy to look at the key and, and label it with the correct numeral, because all the information is there.